Hey, what is going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and this is gonna be the last video of the year. Um, so, Happy New Year to everybody. I won't see you guys until after the New Year, and I hope you guys all have a good and safe New Year's Eve and day. And uh, in this video, we are gonna be talking about the DIY T8 uh, desktop CNC kit and my experience with it over the last couple of months here. I've had this thing I got it a couple months ago in from Gearbest, and uh, it retails at roughly 160-ish. And the reason why I say ish is Gearbest constantly has promotions and things like that going on, so it might be a little bit more or a little bit less depending on when you get it. But I think at the moment it is sitting around 160 US dollars, and uh, I was pretty excited to get this kit in because I have I had built a CNC machine a long time ago, the uh, mostly printed CNC machine when I was living at my parents' house and I never got a chance to use it. Uh, it was too big and it took up too much space and it was too loud. So I was excited to get a CNC machine that's kind of a smaller form factor and uh, that would hopefully be able to do some of the stuff that I would want for it, which was gonna be primarily um, engraving acrylic. It's a CNC machine, but I think it's more of an engraver based off of its size. So acrylic is kind of what I, I saw some potential use for with the combination of acrylic panels and LEDs, little guys, uh, for like Raspberry Pi cases and things of that nature. Anyway, so I got the kit in. I sat on it for quite a while because I was busy with school and I finally got a chance about, I don't know, a month and a half ago or so to crack it open. And I separated all the parts and whatnot, and then I was in disbelief at the fact that there was no tutorial. There was no, like, you know, little flash drive or anything like that, like they normally have now, these kits with uh, PDF or um, anything on GearBest's p website page. And so I, s I dug through the internet in disbelief, thinking there's no way that this thing does not have a guide. And it is my conclusion after a month and a half that there is indeed no official guide from the manufacturer. Um, I've seen other people in the reviews on GearBest talking about that. So what there is though is a couple of resources that you can use. One, there's another YouTuber that built one that put together screenshots, or not screenshots, but pictures of his build. And there is another guy that made a couple YouTube videos on building it. However, there's a lot of missing steps and it seems like this machine has been revised a few times because there are certain parts of his machine that look nothing like my machine. So it was an extremely frustrating build, um, I'm not going to lie. So I really want to say right off the bat that if you have not built a 3D printer before or you are not pretty sound or experienced with CNC machines or electronics in general and you don't like having to guess on things, then I would say this kit's probably not for you. Um, I built a lot of 3D printer kits, and although there is some similarities in terms of using the 2020 extrusion, some of the T-nuts, and the stepper motors, it's still a completely different beast in terms of the electrical wiring and how to actually use a CNC machine. Um, so, anywho's in, after quite a few weeks of working on it a little bit here and there, and things working and things not working, I was finally able to get this thing going and working. Um, I can make it move left to right and bed move forward backward and the, the stinking um, spindle turn on and off, which is great. And I actually did test it out on just a piece of foam. Uh, I cut out a star, which wasn't super impressive or anything like that. Um, I had planned on trying to cut some wood for you guys on, on the review, but the wood pieces I kept getting were too large and I just wasn't able to and I have no acrylic right now. So um, I'm I'm just going to probably set this thing off to the side for quite a while and use it in the future maybe when I need to cut some acrylic or, or etch in some acrylic. Um, but I got to say that I, from what I've used it and what I've seen, it's for a very specific type of person. Um, because of its small size, it's only going to be able to do so much. I think that if you in your head know, hey, this is what I'm going to use this for, then great, you'll probably get a fair amount of use for it. But if you just buy it thinking, yeah, I'll find tons of uses, I don't know that you will because of the limitation in terms of its engraving and cutting size. 
And the biggest frustrating part of this whole experience was that I couldn't get the spindle motor to turn on for a long time. And I checked my wiring like six times. I checked the few sources I could online. I checked with the multimeter to make sure everything was getting power. And then I found out after reflashing the firmware that the firmware that had been basically uploaded to my Arduino when I got it, which is supposed to be ready to rock and roll, um, didn't have the pin set for the spindle motor. So when I turned it on in the software, it did nothing. So once I flashed it, it was fine. So it wasn't me at all. It was the software side that was causing issues. So at the end of it all, for the price, you can't really get much in comparison. So I don't know that it's a bad CNC machine, but what I will say for those of you that are planning on getting it or thinking about getting it, that it is not a walk in the park unless you are extremely experienced. Again, um, I finally got it working, but I feel like this point in the game, 3D printers are much more mainstream than CNC machines are and the software to operate and use them is that's also much more user friendly and a lot more instructions out there. It took a lot more trial and error for me to get this thing to function. And um, yeah, I definitely think that it will extremely frustrate some of you guys. But again, if you're persistent or you've done 3D printer kits and you like the challenge, then I, I have no doubt in my mind that based off the sources, which I will also post in the description so you can see them if you do pick this thing up and hopefully it'll help some of you guys out. But yeah, that's my experience with the T8. It was a pain in the ass to build. I finally did get it building. It does indeed work, but again, its use is extremely limited and you probably will see it in action in the future. Um, I'll, I, I'm sure when I do some acrylic with it, I'll show you guys, but I just, and we're, I'm going to move it on to a new project now. That's going to be pretty awesome. And I just needed to get a video on this thing finally up and I've put way too many hours into this machine. So Anywho, I hope you guys are all doing great. Again, this is the T8 CNC do-it-yourself kit from Gearbest and um, really strong, rigid machine, but just the manufacturer needs to provide instructions. That is not cool to customers. And so on that note, I am out. Peace, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. See you in the next video.